Have you ever wondered what would happen if all nuclear-armed countries fired their weapons simultaneously? Let's take a moment to ponder this hypothetical apocalypse. Picture this. The United States, Russia, China, France, the United Kingdom, India, Pakistan and North Korea all launching their nuclear arsenals at the same exact moment. The sheer magnitude of such an event is staggering to comprehend. We're talking about countries that, between them, possess nearly 15,000 nuclear warheads, each one capable of causing destruction on a scale that is hard to fathom. This is not a scenario anyone would wish for, but as curious beings, we can't help but wonder about the what-ifs, the maybes and the hypotheticals. So let's delve into this dark imagining. Imagine, for a moment, the sight of rockets firing into the sky from all directions, bombs being dropped, and nuclear-capable submarines surfacing everywhere. Picture this, a world on the brink of destruction as thousands of nuclear warheads launch simultaneously. In your mind's eye, envision the staggering spectacle of rockets screaming into the sky from all corners of the Earth. From the frosty tundra of Russia to the sprawling metropolises of the United States, from the towering peaks of China to the sun-drenched plains of India, imagine the chilling sight of multitudes of nuclear missiles piercing the heavens. Now, let's delve deeper. Consider the silent, yet deadly role of nuclear-capable submarines. Hidden beneath the waves, these stealthy vessels surface, their hatches opening to reveal the grim cargo they carry. With a burst of power and a plume of water, they join the horrific symphony, sending their lethal payload hurtling towards the sky. Imagine the sheer speed and scale of such an event. Within minutes, not hours or days, the entire world would be engulfed in a nuclear conflict. The intercontinental ballistic missiles, with their colossal range and devastating power, would ensure that no place on Earth would remain untouched. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? But it's crucial to remember that this is merely a simulation, a hypothetical scenario. We have the power to prevent such a cataclysm. Within minutes, every corner of the globe would be impacted. But what would be the immediate aftermath? With the launch phase complete, what would the immediate aftermath look like? Imagine our world once bustling with life, now cloaked in a shroud of silence. The detonation of these weapons would unleash a wave of destruction that would sweep across cities, towns and villages obliterating everything in its path. Buildings that once scraped the sky would be reduced to rubble in the blink of an eye, and the landscapes we've all grown accustomed to would be unrecognizable. The immediate aftermath would be a site of desolation and ruin, a testament to the devastating power of nuclear weapons. The force of the explosions would not only shatter concrete and steel, but also the lives of countless individuals. But the damage wouldn't end there. The fallout from these detonations would have long-lasting effects. The radioactive particles released into the atmosphere would not only pose a threat to human health, but also to the environment. This radioactive fallout could contaminate air, water and soil, leading to a chain of destruction that could last for generations. Moreover, the sheer number of detonations could potentially trigger a nuclear winter, a chilling scenario where soot and debris block out the sun, causing a dramatic drop in global temperatures. This could devastate ecosystems worldwide, threatening the survival of countless species, including our own. The immediate destruction would be devastating, but the lingering effects could render the planet uninhabitable for centuries. So, what have we learned from this chilling simulation? We've witnessed a terrifying spectacle of global destruction, a scenario where nuclear weapons are launched simultaneously from the United States, Russia, China, France, the United Kingdom, India, Pakistan and North Korea. The scale and speed of the devastation are truly mind-boggling, with the world plunged into chaos in mere moments. But the immediate carnage is just the beginning. We've also seen the potential for long-term damage, including the lingering effects of radiation and the onset of a nuclear winter that could last for years, if not decades, decimating ecosystems and making large portions of our planet uninhabitable. This simulation underscores the critical importance of nuclear disarmament and the prevention of nuclear war. We must work tirelessly to ensure that such a scenario never becomes reality. While this scenario is purely hypothetical, it underscores the importance of nuclear disarmament and the prevention of nuclear war. After all, the survival of our planet depends on it.